previously on the You've Been Game channel. Might even do a little video on it actually because uh, I'd, I'd like to show it off in greater depth I guess. Hey there everybody welcome back and this is another video on the You've Been Game channel. My name's Lee and I promised you when I bought this on my last pickups video that I was going to do a vid short video on the PS Classic. Uh, if you knew the trouble I had today <laughs> setting this up, my game capture card decided it was going to have problems. I've had to reset that. Then my microphone started to have problems and it was going in slow motion. Um, I sounded like some kind of punch drunk alien. I sounded horrendous on the commentary. Um, my commentary track was for some reason four times longer than my video. So yeah, I've spent actually nearly three hours setting this up today. So this video better bloody well be worth it. <laughs> That's all I could say. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you a quick um, few games on the PlayStation Classic. Um, I love it. I've I've loved messing around. I love the PS One. Um, got a huge PS One games collection. Um, for the purposes of uh, this video, I'll just play maybe a little snip, a few snippets from each, just to show show you them working and stuff. And I'm sure everybody's familiar with the PlayStation Classic by now. Um, I'm not one of those people yet that's hacked it, like a lot of people seem to do. I'm considering it because the game selection, it's got some good games on here, but it is very limited. And I own like so many PS1 games. And I'm kind of disappointed that they don't have that feature where you can obviously, because I know how to to dump my PS1 games basically obviously it's fairly simple anybody that's got a bit of knowledge about computers will know that so I'm not looking to put illegal ROMs or anything like that on here I, I own every single game that I want basically on this console it's just a matter of getting it on there and to do that obviously you have to hack the console which is a little bit annoying it's a shame that they don't just allow you to plug a USB in you know with your um, dumped games on it and, and just plug it in and play but unfortunately they don't so I'm still not sure on the legalities of it all. If you read certain websites, some people say it's illegal just to hack it. Some people say, well, if you own the games, how is it illegal? And obviously I'm, on, I'm a YouTuber. I don't want to get into any trouble on copyrights and stuff on YouTube. So, you know, I'm not going to be hacking it. And you won't see any hacked version of it on this channel, to be fair. Um, there are lots of people that do videos on it and it's hacked and they love it so and they seem to get away with it so part of me is thinking well should I risk it but you know I, I love my channel and I don't want to do anything to uh, to get it banned or anything so basically we've got to go with what we've got um, this is what's on here anyway you've got Rayman the original which is a good game Resident Evil of course needs no introduction uh, Revelations Persona never played that I've played a few Persona games I've got number 5 on the PS4 but never played that Played some Ridge Racer back in the day. Haven't played that one. Puzzle Fighter 2. I'm guessing it is a Street Fighter looking puzzle game. It definitely looks that way. Uh, not played that obviously. Siphon Filter. Yep, used to play that a lot. Haven't played it for years so wouldn't be very good at it probably. Tekken 3. My wife's favourite game. She loves it. She loves all the beat em up games. Um, played it. Again, not great at it. But then usually when I play my wife at a beat em up I do win. So <laughs> I must have some skills. Uh, don't tell her I said that. Uh, Rainbow Six, I've played various iterations of Rainbow Six on various consoles, but I don't think I ever played it on the PlayStation 1. Twisted Metal, another game that a lot of people seem to love, but I've never played it. Wild Arms, don't know much about that, I'll be honest, and never played it. Battle Arena Toshinden, I believe that is a beat em up game, um, which again, I've never played. Same with Call Borders 2, never played that either. Obviously, it's not a beat em up. It's a, it's a snowboarding game, but I've never played that. Destruction Derby, I played a lot back in the day. Um, again, these are games I haven't played for years, so I probably won't be very good at it now. But yeah, it's a good game, Destruction Derby. This is the best game on the console, in my opinion. Uh, that, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, obviously the highlights. I do love Grand Theft Auto as well, but yeah, Final Fantasy VII, loved it. Absolutely played it to death got it on every system it's ever been re-released on as well i believe yeah it's the original grand theft auto which i love i love the grand theft auto games this one's very hard to play now after playing the 3d versions obviously but you know this game i've never heard of i don't quite know why they put this game on here because i don't think anybody that i know seems to like it but if you do like it leave me a comment same with jumping flash again it's another a game i'm totally unfamiliar with never heard of it 
Might be an audience for it out there somewhere, I'm not sure. Metal Gear Solid needs no introduction. An absolute classic. Um, and again, one of the best games, in my opinion, on this console. Um, definitely worth the money alone. Mr. Driller is not a game I've played. I believe it's an arcade conversion, but uh, not familiar with it. And finally, Odd World. And that is what it says on the tin. A very odd game. So, I've got to get into a game now. Um, it's going to be hard just to play little snippets, to be honest. I'm trying to think what the best one would be for that. Um, maybe we'll just we'll fire up Odd World as it's on the screen at the moment. Obviously, this will just to show you what it looks like when it boots. I'm not quite sure why they have that little mouse pointer looking thing up there. I don't know if that's something I've done because I've got I bought a little gizmo for this thing. It's um it, it's the same color as the PlayStation Classic. It's almost like a USB stick. You plug it in and it's a it's a wireless uh, connector for um for, con for connecting wireless controllers. So basically I'm using my PS4 controller to play this. There's nothing wrong with the PlayStation Classic controllers. You know, they are perfect replicas of the early PlayStation controllers. But obviously they don't have the sticks. And, uh, you know, when you're a modern console gamer, you you know, you know tend to use the sticks. I've got to find out actually why that cursor is on the screen. Because that's very irritating, to tell you the truth. Might be simply a question of... Maybe plugging in another controller. I want to see if that works. Bear with me a second, you can watch the intro while I'm doing that. Making it. Fuzz up now. No, I don't know why there's that on. I don't want that left on the screen while I'm playing the video. That would be really annoying. So, the game's like. Imagine it's, it's only on the side, isn't it? So maybe. Mm. Maybe we can put up with it, because all the games are in 4 by 3 anyway. I'll just put up with it for now. Right, I suppose we better have a game of this little puppy. Uh, I guess it's just okay. beginning and everything. One player help Abe. Oh yeah, you can play two players. That's the beauty about this as well, is you can play two players. It gives you two controllers uh, on the classic, so it's brilliant. <laughs> Abe's Odyssey is loading, so get over it. And if you remember this, it's kind of like a, a sneaky kind of puzzle game. If that makes sense, I think I will watch the intro. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. me. My name is Abe. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. Mullet the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. Think. We're almost into the game now. We used to make meat munchies. <laughs> Until the meaches were through. We still made paramite pies. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound very and nice, does it? We made some good scrap cakes, too. Scrap cakes. That looks absolutely disgusting when that glowing green middle. I thought I had a good job. But that was before I knew. How we'd make new and tasty, I was still to find. Okay, now I believe this is where it's going to start in a minute. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared, cause profits were grim. 
Hair Mike and Scrabs had been turning up thin. But Mullet was cool. He had a plan. This new kind of meat? It was us! It's quite ahead of its time, really, isn't it? I just had to escape. I just had to be free. And I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! <laughs> you know, wish is my command. Well, I hope so, anyway. I won't be getting much of you out of here because I'm not going to play for long. Wanted a. Oh my goodness. I mean, brilliant graphics for its time. Really brilliant. Okay, now we're getting into the gameplay, finally. <laughs> Longest intro ever. I might not be able to watch the intros on any more games. There we go. To run, hold R1. What do you press? To hoist, stand, under ledge. Oh, yeah, under ledge and press up. There we go. That's it. Oops. <laughs> Ran a bit too far there. Oh, there we go. Right. Press. Oh, he's trying not to jump. Okay. <gasps> I double jumped. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't have been good. Oh. Oops. <laughs> First mistake. They're reinstating me. Okay. <gasps> wow, that almost didn't work either. <laughs> oh, I well, was supposed to sneak then. Oops. I might have to go and just get a refresher course on what how I sneak. Is it like that? I guess. Oh no, let's roll. Sorry. Hold R two. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. Okay. Lots to remember. Is it going to be a cross button, maybe? No, oh, square. Oh, so I've got to stand to the side. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> How do I get past that thing? Oh, maybe you pull it the other way, yeah. No. Okay. Oh, I see. There we go. Aha! I'll run now. <laughs> In case it comes back on. Yeah, I had one. To use the ring, stand under it and press up. Just like a hoist. Why do I have to use that then? I don't go down it, surely, do I? Maybe this is where I've got to use the hoist. I've got to pull back over there again. 
Oopsie. Oh, it doesn't matter yet. See what I'll do. I've quit the game. Yeah, I can't actually remember how you get out to the menu in this. You might have to restart it. Let's try the start button, see if it works. The start just pauses it like normal. Not sure. I have to do some research. As you can tell, I'm I'm very new to this console. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, we'll restart it. There we go, back into the menu. I'm sure there is a way to come out, actually. I'll have to look that up, because um, what happens is when you, when you do do that, um, it creates a restore point for you. Um, let's have a look. Where's the guide thing? The whole button guide. Yes, it's the reset button. What an idiot. Yeah, there is a reset button on the console. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't even spot that, considering it's like right next to the... Um, right next to the off button. There's also, as you can see, there's a button on the right side of the console which says change virtual disks. That's if you've got like um, Final Fantasy VII. It's a multi-disc game. Um, so obviously there's a point where you have to insert, insert disc two. So that's what you do there. Um, what about, let's go with Grand Theft Auto. I think if you use the reset button, then it will create a restore point for you. And basically you just, um, just go straight back into the game from the restore point, which is really cool actually, because you don't have to worry about getting to save game sections and stuff. You know, it's a modern world, you know, there's always something to do, isn't there? So it's uh, it's a good way of doing it. All right, for Grand Theft Auto, I am just going to literally get on with it because I've not got time for menus anymore. This is going to be tricky. I already know I'm going to struggle playing this game. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at controls just quickly. I right, need this next. Just break. So it's... Yeah, okay, it's going to be cross for forwards. Attack, fire is circle. Okay. Um, well, let's go straight to a new game. Can I remember I used to pick? It might have been Troy. I'm going to go with Troy. I spent... Hours playing this game when I was younger. Got a real love for the Grand Theft Auto games. Good thing is it doesn't take too long for the games to load either. I've noticed so far. And here we go. Oh yeah, forwards are going to be that. Oh, oh, it's square to get into a car on this version. Trying to remember. Yeah, see, that's the tricky bit. Right, okay, so it's triangle to reverse. X to get four. This is <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna get the hang of it now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Man, I knew it was gonna. I knew I was gonna be a little bit rusty. There we go. Let's grab the phone. God knows how I used to play this. Crazy Jimmy's jumped a car, I dumped a car, find it for the cops do or die. Okay, thanks very much. Get out of my way, thank you very much. I'm getting a, getting a hang of driving a little bit better now. I must admit, it's a lot easier with the sticks. This actually, because it's. Oh, get out of jail free card. I like that. Right. 
Let's go get in the car. Where am I going? Bring the car to do these in West. Ah, oh, I'll keep using square to reverse. That will take a bit of getting used to, I think. It's because it's modern games, isn't it? You've, generally, if you play a game where you don't use like the trigger buttons to drive, it's usually square to reverse. Not sure where I'm going here, exactly. I could have cut through the pavement there, but I'll stay. As there's a cop car around. <laughs> I'll try and obey the law if I can. Don't need the cops on my arse at the moment. Come on. Move. Uh, okay, I'll keep going this way. steal a car just at the moment. Even though the game is Grand Theft Auto. Oh, 18 seconds. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's so hard to control. <laughs> oh, I got it. Getting used to these controls again is not fun. Right, okay. Might defy anybody that hasn't been used to playing like them the more actually. Oh here we go, trying to reverse again. The more modern sort of games to get used to doing it this way again. It's right. probably people out there saying, yeah, but I played Grand Theft Auto so many times, I know what I'm doing. I played it a lot too, but trust me, you do get out of practice. See if I can get through here. Oh yeah, there we go. That was one thing about this game, you could you could find a few sneaky shortcuts if you knew where to look. Don't think I can go that way actually. God damn it. <laughs> if I could put my own controls in, I would use square as reverse. Because triangle's a little bit tricky. That's probably why they changed it in later games. Where is this bloody thing? I'm going to walk it. That might be an easier way then. i get past that thing. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, screw it, I'll drive. Can't get around that way anyway. Oh, pressure to a coach. <laughs> Not ideal. Ah, oh, I'm on a bridge. Ah, balls. Oh, I'll find a way off. Stupid coach to move. There we go. That's why we couldn't get out that bit. Okay, I've got to go around. Probably go this way. Yeah, get out of the way. Here it is. Oh man, that was hard to find. See, I always thought if I went back to this game, I'd be shit hot at it. But right, I'm going backwards. Move. Okay. You move as well. I could just run them over, but I really don't want the police on me. Okay, get this way. No, can't go that way. Press the wrong button, okay? <laughs> don't think they'd accept that as an excuse, would they? I'm out of practice. Oh. How do I get out of here then? I must have to go the other way. Excuse me, people. Man, I am demonstrating how not to play this game. There we go. Through there. And sit. Wow, why they can't put it in an easier place to leave. So 
Oh, keeping an eye on the arrow. I don't know how I used to play this game. I hope I'm supposed to go over this bridge. Oh yeah, it's all right. Come on, move it. Oh no, it's a bank robbery. Sticky love nest. Okay. Now I'm going to have the cops on me. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> Get out of my way. Where am I going? Do I drop him off here? No. Cops are coming. Ah! <laughs> Stuck on the lamppost. How do I get him there then? Heck, do I get him in there then? There must be a way in, like a. Nope. No, there's no way in. I don't understand how I get him in here then. Cops are all circling. <laughs> Go away! There's no way yet. Nobody here. No cops coming. There we go. Arrested. Well, there we go. That's probably how not to play Grand Theft Auto. In case you're wondering. There you go. See? Press the reset button. And you get a resume point. Which is really cool. Um, really got time to... It's the memory card. Yeah, the memory card, you can save games like you normally would, you know. Um, but obviously, if you've got the resume point, you don't really need that anyway. Um, I haven't really got time to play Final Fantasy. Uh, or Resident Evil, really. Or really on Metal Gear Solid. I'd like to... I'm rubbish at <laughs> the first level of Metal Gear Solid. It takes me a while to get into it. So we'll play a bit of this Destruction Derby, that'll be the... It's probably a neutral choice. Maybe I, I might do a separate video on uh, Metal Gear Solid. It is one of the best games ever. That'll be a Nostalgia Half Hour game, for sure. Right now, we'll just play this one. As you can see, everything works smoothly. It's, um, it's, a, it's a lovely process, playing the games on here. I don't know, so smart. They were a big game developer back in the day. Didn't actually know they did Destruction Derby, actually, to be fair. Okay, here we go. That's a PlayStation. <laughs> What's that all about? Do a destruction. Ah, oh, where we got it, haven't we? I just do a practice and may as well. That would probably be the easiest way to do it. Go. Hopefully it's square. Uh, it's <laughs> square. It's cross to accelerate because I don't know. I didn't actually look at the controls like a, a numpty. But this is the one I remember. You just drive around this arena and just basically wreck everybody. And try not to get too wrecked yourself. I uh, see square is reverse on this one. Oops. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. It's just, you just want to... Oh, no. <laughs> I missed him completely. Oh, you son of a gun. I'm getting squished now. Time to get out of there. Oh, big pile up over here. 
know if anyone's gone out yet. Oops. Might have to start using the back of my car because I'm not doing so well. points. I don't quite know why that is. Uh oh, I can't steer now. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not steering to the right. <laughs> I think my car's slightly knackered. Okay, in doubt. I just I can only go in a straight line. That's not exactly fun, is it? Oh, well, I've got a little bit of turn. Just not a great amount. I use. I have to use the barrier. Uh oh. That's not good. I can still take people out. 49 points. My car's nearly completely totaled, man. Yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't exploded yet. I really can't steer it. Oh, here we go. There's people. There's people to crash into. I think I've gone. Yeah, race over. I don't know if that's because my car was completely ruined. Or... Obviously, you can do proper racing and stuff. Oh, that was oh, because it was practice, wasn't it? It wasn't a competition. And once again, if I just reset create a resume point and just to prove that it does do that if I go back to Grand Theft Auto for example and hit the resume point there you go straight in there so that's a brilliant little feature that um, I think that's really cool so this thing say it was 40 I think it was 43 pound 44 pound or something on Amazon um, and on Amazon Prime Day I was online and uh, I went on to I think I was uh, just poodling around Google. I don't think I was doing anything specific. And I saw advertised somewhere that in US dollars that the PS Classic was something like sixteen ninety nine US dollars on Amazon Prime Day. So I was thinking, oh, I wonder if the UK's got a deal on it. Because I went on there and literally it was about to end. And yeah, it was down to fifteen ninety nine from 43 quid. And I thought, well, I can't pass that up. So I snapped it up. And I think that that, that, that money, this is really worth it. And, you know, to be honest, I think hacking it would make it even more worth it. If I do decide to do that, those videos will not be appearing on here because that's not something that I would ever advertise. But, um, yeah, if I if I do get all my PlayStation 1 games on here, that would be very cool. But, um, that's something to think about for a later date. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not yet. I'm not one for hacking things because of, like, the warranty and stuff. So, you know, something, it's a grey area, isn't it, really? Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little look at the PS Classic. Uh, maybe it's going to persuade you next time there's an Amazon Prime Day to take a plunge if there is a sale on. And, uh, yeah, it's my opinion, it's worth it. It's a great bit of nostalgia. And there's not too many consoles. I mean, I've still got, obviously got my PS3 and my PS2. But, you know, there's n none, not many of the modern consoles that you're going to go as far back as PS1 on now. So it's quite nice to have this in, in terms of, you know, like the HDMI connection and stuff. Um, obviously you can get that with a PS3 um, and obviously you can play your disc game so some people might think oh it's a waste of money but it's just that there's something about that PlayStation console you see it sitting on your desktop even if it's in miniature form and it's it's very nostalgic so I love it okay guys thanks so much take care and I will see you on my next video bye for now